FireTech has developed another very capable firing module that functions with and is similar to all existing FireTech equipment. The FTQ 4x16 Compact Firing Module. This special effects module measures in at less than 0.8 inches in thickness. Its operation is similar to the larger FireTech modules, yet it is only about 3.5 inches tall and 3.5 inches wide. With the internal antennas and internal LiPo battery, it weighs in at a very impressive 6 ounces. With the red button on the top corner, it powers on. Even at this small size, it is made of a similar FireTech construction of fire retardant fiberglass panels. It feels very solid, and it's built to be rugged and take some abuse. It maintains the same FireTech user interface with the green forward and blue backwards menu buttons. The unit can be powered and charged through a convenient USB-C interface and can stay awake for 10 hours on battery power. The USB port is also used to load scripts or configuration files, update firmware, connect to computers or Android devices, or even connect a USB mouse for additional functionality. The screen and mechanical buttons are under a nicely printed embossed overlay. The operation through the buttons is the same as the larger FTQ 16x64 modules. For example, I'll go into the channel status menu and if we had a script loaded and igniters connected, we would see the script name, firing times, measured resistance, calculated firing current, and product information, just like the FTQ 16x64 module. With the internal capacitors, the unit provides 10 volts of firing power through an RJ45 port. Here you can plug in a cable to a 16Q rail. This is shown as R1 on the screen, and here the screen is stating that there are no igniters plugged into the rail. You can also see the flashing LEDs on the rail as it checks continuity. One of the unique features of this unit is you can directly wire up to four igniters for situations where you don't want to use a rail. Here I have connected an igniter directly to an RJ45 plug. You can connect up to four igniters into one plug, but I have just connected one for this demo. Once we plug it in, the module will recognize the connection and go into a four channel mode as shown on the screen. And that solid box indicates we have good continuity in that first igniter. We can also see that in the channel status screen for rail one channel, or Q1. There are other options available for directly wiring into the four channel mode. There are RJ45 breakout boards with screw terminals like this one, or other options. The FTQ 4x16 module with the internal antenna will provide bi-directional communication across the FireTech wireless mesh network and we can manually fire the igniter by first arming the system from the controller. You will see the module screen go into armed. Once armed, we will select the module, then select rail one, and then fire channel or Q1. That was a brief introduction to this new special effects FTQ 4x16 firing module. Check out the next two videos for what it can do with scripts, step firing, a small RF remote, and DMX.